Hey, in this movie, I'm just going to show you some of the cool features about Console One that I overlooked in my initial review. So I've got a very small part of my arrangement looped here, and I'm going to use Console One to process one of the sounds in the mix. If I turn on the display, what I'll do first is select the track that I want to process, which is this crazy synth sound on track 14. At the moment, I'm just using Console One to apply some saturation using the output section here. What I'm going to do now is apply some EQ as well. The default instance of the plugin loads with the SSL SL 4000E console channel strip emulation. So if I turn on any of these sections here, um, it'll load the specific effect from that channel strip. But one of the cool things about Console One is you can actually create your own hybrid channel strip setup. And the way you do that is by going to Shift and then Load EQ. After which it brings up the list of any Softu plugins you own. So I can choose one like maybe the Summit Audio emulation, load that in. And now I can apply some EQ to my sound, if I just solo it first, to maybe uh, fatten it up a bit. And if I wanted to apply some compression now, I could just use the SL4000 compressor, or I could load in a different one, just by choosing Load Compressor, then choosing one from the list, like the TubeTech emulation, and then away you go. Of course, I can change around the order of any of these effects, so I could have the compressor coming before the EQ, just by using the switch in the top corner here. And then I can save the whole lot as my own preset to be instantly recalled at a later date. Another very handy feature on Console One, which is very comprehensive and well implemented, is the undo facility. What it allows you to do is to literally jump back to any point in time in any one of the instances of Console One in your project. The way it works is by activating history mode, after which the volume dial here can be used to literally step back in time as you can see at the very top of the window, uh, the time's changing and also the step number. And of course, you can see every little tweak I made changing below. And then I can select where I want to go back to, hit OK, and I'm instantly transported back to that particular moment in time. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the ability to control multiple instances of Console One at the same time, which is done using these two buttons here. First up, there's the Group button. The way this works is by holding it down and then choosing the tracks that you want to be grouped with the currently selected one. And then when I let go, I can control all of those at once. Or alternatively, you have the all switch here, which controls all instances of console one. This could be useful if say your mix is getting a bit loud and you want to turn down all of the tracks in your project, which can sometimes be tricky if you've got volume automation going on on tracks. However, with console one here, I can just hit all and then bring down the volume dial which will bring down the level of all of the tracks in my mix, maintaining all of their relative positions, of course. So I hope you enjoyed this movie. Stay tuned to the next one to check out some of the new features in the latest version of Console One.